dio luz a su futuro. Así que ella está aquí hoy feliz, dándole gracias a Dios por su maravillosa liberación. Continuamos. Tell us your name and uh, introduce your family members to us and share your wonderful testimony. Okay, um, my name is um, Lawson Nemekoniku. This is my mom and my dad. I'm a student of Uniport and um, Biomedical Technology. Okay, the problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was um, difficulty in working. On the 5th of June, exactly last year, I sustained um, a, an accident. My, the motorbike I entered ran into a stationary truck. So um, I had a femoral fracture, and since then it has prevented me from doing things as a student and also going to toilets. My dad or my mom had to help me. It was very, very difficult, and things were really, really very terrible for me in that stage. So um, on the 9th of December, that was last year, on the 9th of um, December 2016, um, my parents um, brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations for the um, revival service of the man of God. And at that particular moment when he touched me, my knee, which was not able to bend, at that particular moment, I, the pain ceased. I was okay, I felt fine, and um, I was able to drop the crutches. And from that very moment till now, I've been very perfect. I could do things I couldn't do before. I do things now by myself, and I bless the name of the Lord for saving me and helping me. Clap for wonderful Jesus Christ. So you said that you had come to the revival with Prophet T.B. Joshua, that was uh, in December 2016. And as you can see on our screen, uh, that was the time that he came with the problem of a fracture of the femur. He came with a problem of difficulty in walking due to a fracture of the femur. And you can see that he, as a result of that, he was using crutches. And he says, as Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for him, instantly after the prayer, he found that he was able to walk healed instantly to the glory of of God. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, the Master Healer. So tell us a bit about how this problem was affecting your life as, as, as a student. Tell us how it was affecting your life in university. What were the things that you, you could not do and the things that you okay. needed help with? Um, it prevented me from, because I was in the hospital, and it um, prevented me from doing a lot of things my mates would have as and I should have been doing then. Um, I, it wasn't a waste actually, but um, I was unable to do things on my own for six months. And um, it had to be my dad or my mom if I wanted to have my bath to beat them or if I wanted to go to the toilet. I was always indoors because I couldn't go out. I was always on crutches. If I had to move about, I, everything I depended on was either the crutches or both parents doing what I needed for me. So without the crutches, as you said, he could not walk. We'd like to actually um, hear from your family members, as you said, were the ones who were assisting you. Can we hear from, uh, can you introduce yourself, Ma? Emmanuel. God with us. Children of God, Emmanuel. I'm so happy to be in your midst this morning because this is the day that I've been long expecting. God has been so good to me and my family. Just like as my son has said, when the accident happened, it was very terrible. Because you know what it means for a final year student to enjoy himself, 
in a motor accident like that, when you are expecting your son to be out of school only for you to find that child in the hospital, it was very critical. But I'm so happy today that the God of TB Joshua did not allow us to see any shame because the devil is a liar and you continue to be a liar. I'm so happy today that my son is not healthy, he's strong, he's not working, I'm not being relieved because on that during that uh, period, you know what it means to be carrying an excretor of an adult? It was very critical. But I thank God today, we are no more carrying the excretor, we are no more running a skater. God has been so faithful and he's strong. So I'm so happy today to say, God, thank you. Be thou exalted, for you do not allow us to see shame. For a boy like this, at this age, to have passed on, you know what it means in Igbo land. But God took away our shame. We said, thank you, Jesus. Be thou exalted, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, that's a wonderful um, testimony from the mother who she cannot contain her joy as to what Jesus Christ has done in the life of her son. And this is six months later um, after the revival, the revival that took place in December 2016. And he is here today to glorify God, to testify that six months later Jesus Christ has not only healed him, but that healing is effectual and permanent and complete in Jesus' mighty name. And we'd like to hear from the Father, sir. We'd like to hear from you briefly. Emmanuel. Good morning, church. Uh, my name is Edmond Onyuku. I'm the father of the young man who I just spoken, and that's my lovely wife. In fact, they have all said it all. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to give all the glory back to God for what God did in our lives, in my family. In fact, I can't, I uh, have no words to express it than to say thank you, Jesus. And also, I want to take this opportunity to thank the man of God for, the, for allowing himself to be used by God Almighty to bring succor and uh, deliverance and healing to mankind. May God continue to increase his anointing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, finally, we just want to hear from our brother who received that wonderful healing on that particular day, the revival with Prophet T.B. Joshua, which took place in December 2016. Uh, you, we, you have been through it. You had the accident and uh, you found this, your solution here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations through God's anointed servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua. What advice can you give to people who are perhaps in the same situation that you were once in, having the problem of difficulty in walking, unable to walk, and are looking for a solution? Um, my advice to them is um, they should seek the face of God, and um, when they do and they are properly okay, they should keep me God's word to stand out for their life. And um, number two, I'll say most especially, you should have patience because my accident was caused out of lack of patience, always in a hurry. So we, use, we should look up with God and we should try and hear from God before putting, doing or doing anything that I want to do. Thank you. Glory be to God. And I believe you are the owner of these crutches. You are yes. the owner of these crutches. Well, yeah. can you just demonstrate before the children of God the things that you can do now which you could not do before? So this is six months later after the healing and you can see that he's walking to the glory of God without the use of the crutches. Hallelujah. That is the healing of Jesus Christ that is performed through God's anointed servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Now we can see that your father is the one that is holding the crutches. Can you collect the crutches from your father? Now we saw that you came to the synagogue church of one nation six months later and you are walking majestically without the crutches. Do you still need these crutches? Not at all. What do you want to do with them? <laughs> I want to trade to them. Hallelujah! Let's put our hands together for Jesus! thrown away the crutches and truly that is proof that Jesus Christ 
healed and still healed all manner of sicknesses and diseases. And Jesus Christ has healed him completely and effectually. Well, we thank God what he has done in your life. And we know that it's not just enough to receive healing. What advice can you give to people who want to not only receive healing, but also maintain that healing? Because we know that anyone can receive healing, but not anyone can maintain it. What advice can you give to people who would like to, to not only receive that healing, but to maintain it? What is the importance of that? How can you advise people concerning maintaining their healing? Um, they should make God's word the standard for their life. Glory be to God. Well, we have heard from him that it's not just about receiving, but the most important important thing is to maintain that healing with six months down the line he has been able to maintain it and he said the advice to the people is to make the word of God the standard for your lives so that healing will remain permanent in Jesus name glory be to God thank you so much for sharing that testimony and we know that as Jesus Christ has healed you that the best is still yet to come in Jesus name Escuchamos este maravilloso testimonio de sanidad de este jovencito. Eh, por mucho tiempo había tenido una fra uh, tuvo una fractura en el fémur, lo que de, eh, le generó una dificultad para caminar. Él no podía doblar su rodilla y le perjudicó todas sus actividades diarias. Y él estuvo aquí la semana pasada en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones cuando el profeta Tibi Joshua estuvo orando por las personas y recibió inmediatamente, instantáneamente su sanidad. Y el día de hoy está aquí testificando, lo vimos cómo camina para la gloria de Dios. Después de mucho tiempo de haber estado imposibilitado de caminar, él arrojó esas muletas para, porque ya son una causa del pasado. Continuamos. Nous attendons le témoignage merveilleux de ce jeune garçon accompagné de sa famille. Il, était, il y a eu un accident et une fracture du col du fémur. Une fracture qui l'a laissé dans l'impossibilité de marcher sans l'aide des béquilles. Donc dans la souffrance et étudiant. Donc toutes ses études ont été touchées, affectées par cette condition de sanitaire. Donc il était incapable de trouver une solution. Mais lorsqu'il est venu dans la réunion de réveil en décembre, l'homme de Dieu l'a touché à prier pour lui dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Et le grand miracle est accompli par le nom de Jésus-Christ. Les eaux brisées ont été restées. Il est guéri, délivré, sanctifié, comme vous le voyez aujourd'hui. Il marche librement, il a repris ses études. Il est un homme libre, guéri et sanctifié dans le nom de Jésus.
it is time you should be a producer, not a consumer. Tell your neighbor, be a producer, not a consumer. This is the problem we are facing in our continent, Africa. What is it? Instead of using our mineral resources to exchange technology, we use it to exchange dollar and pounds. Instead of using the mineral resources the Lord has given us and take it, hey, you need something from me. We Africa will carry our prop, our mineral resources. Instead of giving them and use it to receive technology they have, we give them and receive dollar pounds. We keep. If we use this mineral resources to take technology, nobody will invest some money. If there is law that this your mineral resources should not be exchanged for dollar and pound and it's for the technology. If I want to give you something in America, I will look at what they are good, their technology. Give me that, your technology, let me give you my oil. The corruption will come to an end. Yeah. See, oh, like Nigeria, we have oil. See, this is oil we have in Nigeria. And in Nigeria, there is a law that this oil should be exchanged. If any country need it, you need it from the United Kingdom. What are their technology? What, what is their own mineral resources there? Our own is oil. So now there is law that they too should give the equal their mineral resources and we to give their mineral resources. No money to be exchanged. The country today will become a, 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 a pregmage. But today what is happening? To dollar and pounds we receive. So Africa and the rest of the country that are complaining that they are poor, you are not poor. It's only you exchange your mineral resources with dollar and pounds. We say there is no em employment, there is no job for the youth. Why? Because dollar and pound is not a company. But if you use our mineral resources to exchange, to receive the technology from overseas, and we give them oil, the country today, job will be everywhere. The young one will have job. We need money, there are money we can sell and buy, cocoa and yam and everything will bring money. But oil, which is mineral resources and gold and whatever you have that God has given you, should not be exchanged with money. Should not be oil for money, but oil for technology. Say, not oil for money, oil for technology. Tell the whole world, not oil for money. Oil for technology. Is our mission. The journey continues. The vision remains the same. Change lives. Change nations. And change the world. Through the gospel of Jesus Christ. Emmanuel TV. Changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. Visit the Synagogue Church of Omission. Log on to our website www.goan.org. Go to the Visit Us page. And for those from within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click Send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address. Info at 
we look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us. The more you look at God, look to God, meditate on the Word, the more you will find that faith comes spontaneously, naturally. When you realize that God is reliable, your faith will spontaneously grow. Faith is a trust that arises out of the fact that the other person is honest, trustworthy, reliable, and stable. Perfected by our acting on God's will. By looking into the world and at it, you bring Jesus on the scene instantly. If you pay attention, God's word, you will find that faith comes spontaneously, that is naturally. Where God wants us to be is where our heart is. where our heart is. An expression and belief that Jesus is reliable to give you a slot of faith. Emmanuel TV. of love. Let love live. Emmanuel TV. Changing lives. Changing nations. Changing the world. Through the spirit. When one does not worship God, who is a spirit in the spirit, the worship is defective. That is if we do not worship God, who is a spirit in the spirit, can we hope to obtain his favor and acceptance? Holy Spirit has the power of choice, but you has the ability to decide. That is, exercise the way through the mind. Tell your neighbor, commit yourself to the guidance of the word. The word is the tool in the hands of the Holy Spirit. He gives us the word. If the word does not pass through him, you are speaking to yourself, you are speaking of yourself. No one can obey the word of God. Without being led by the Holy Spirit. You must be led by the Holy Spirit to obey the word of God. If not, how will you? Because the Holy Spirit gives the words. The way 
is a tool in the hands of the Holy Spirit. Tool. With this, our knowledge of the scripture is not the key. Obedience is. And master and quote the chapter and verses in the Bible for years. And hear thousands of sermons and read many Christian books. But still, we're spiritual damas. This is a spiritual baby. Yes, still, we're spiritual damas. Upon your knowledge of the scriptures. He needs your testimony to strengthen their faith. Get them out of their desperate setback. Would you acknowledge God as your healer, as your redeemer, and as your savior? He will do it again and again. So what is your testimony? Share it with us. Log on to www.emmanuel.tv, then click on Testimonies. Then type in your name, email address, and other details in the spaces provided. If you wish to upload a picture to attach to your testimony, click on the Browse button, select the picture from where you saved it on your computer, and click Open. Next, type in your glorious testimony in the box below, then click Submit. You can also share your testimony by calling our testimony lines. Each time God leads us through a battle, it is in our own interest to testify to His goodness as a way of thanksgiving for not allowing our adversaries to triumph over us. We look forward to hearing your testimony. The best is yet to come. TV mobile app with easy access to all the synagogue, church of all nations, TV Joshua, and Emmanuel TV social networking sites. The app is simple and easy and is compatible with iPhones, Android devices, iPads, and Android tablets. You can send your prayer requests and watch Emmanuel TV live and pray along with Prophet TV Joshua or send your testimonies and much, much more. Available for free download at www.emmanuel.tv. We're so close to you. Anywhere you are, get connected to Emmanuel TV. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash goan TV Joshua. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash TBJ Ministries. You can also view us on YouTube at youtube.com slash goan videos. And you can watch Emmanuel TV anywhere you are on www.emmanuel.tv. Faith is there for our challenges. If we have faith in God, we should... You are what you give your attention to. Stay connected and give your attention to God. There are numerous fake websites email addresses and social media accounts requesting or encouraging for donations in the name of the SCOAN, TB Joshua and Emmanuel TV. They may claim to be collecting funds to build a SCOAN worship center, Bible college or orphanage in their respective countries. Others also solicit funds for spiritual items to be sent out. They are fraudsters. 
there is currently no plan to build or acquire SCOAN premises worldwide. Don't let anyone deceive you. For donations, God has a way of speaking to the hearts of his people for our needs. We never send anyone and can never send anyone. If we need you, partners, we have a way of reaching you through Emmanuel TV, which is our mouthpiece. Following are just a few examples out of thousands of fraudulent announcements. páginas web falsas, direcciones de correo electrónico y cuentas de redes sociales pidiendo o alentando a dar donaciones en nombre de la SCOAN, TV Joshua y Emmanuel TV. Puede que afirmen estar colectando fondos para construir un centro de culto de la SCOAN, una escuela bíblica o un orfanato en sus respectivos países. Otros también solicitan fondos para artículos espirituales. Son estafadores. Actualmente, no está planeado construir o adquirir un local de la SCOAN en todo el mundo. No permitas que nadie te engañe. Para donaciones, Dios tiene una forma de hablar a los corazones de su pueblo para nuestras necesidades. Nunca enviamos a nadie y no podemos enviar nunca a nadie. Si les necesitamos, socios, tenemos un modo de informarles a través de Manuel TV, que es nuestro portavoz. A continuación, hay tan solo unos pocos ejemplos de entre los miles de anuncios fraudulentos.
announcement. Warning, beware of fraudsters. There are numerous users claiming to be or to represent Prophet TB Joshua, the wise men, or anything connected to the ministry of the Synagogue Church of All Nations and Emmanuel TV. There are thousands of imposters contacting people through Facebook or fake email addresses, asking for donations and offerings in order to send spiritual items. They are also asking for donations for various fake charitable projects. They are fraudsters and have nothing to do with the Skoan, Emmanuel TV or Prophet TB Joshua. We have only one official Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash TBJ Ministries. Any other page or profile on Facebook claiming to be associated with the ministry of TB Joshua or the Skoan is fake. If you are ever in doubt, go to our official website, www.emmanuel.tv and click on the Facebook icon. This will take you to our official page. We do not communicate through Facebook. We do not offer spiritual items, book visits to the Skoan, or provide any other service through Facebook. If anyone contacts you on Facebook claiming to be associated with Prophet TB Joshua, the Skoan, or Emmanuel TV, know that you are dealing with a fraudster. Beware of fraudsters. Avertissement. Prenez garde aux fraudeurs. Il y a de nombreux individus qui prétendent être des représentants du prophète Tibi Joshua, des hommes sages, ou être en relation quelconque avec le ministère de la synagogue Église de toutes les nations et Emmanuel TV. Il y a des milliers d'imposteurs qui contactent des personnes par Facebook ou par le moyen de fausses adresses électroniques, demandant des dons et offrant des services pour l'envoi d'articles spirituels. Ils demandent également des dons pour de diverses fausses œuvres de charité. Ce sont des fraudeurs. Ils n'ont aucun lien avec la synagogue Église de toutes les nations, Emmanuel TV ou le prophète Tibi Joshua. Nous n'avons qu'une page officielle www.facebook.com bar TBJ Ministry. Toute autre page ou profil sur Facebook prétendant être associé au ministère de Tibi Joshua ou de la synagogue Église de toutes les nations est faux. Si vous êtes dans le doute, consultez notre site officiel www.emmanuel.tv et cliquez sur l'icône Facebook. Ceci vous conduira à notre page Facebook officielle. Nous ne communiquons pas par Facebook, nous n'offrons pas d'articles spirituels ou de réservations pour des visites à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Et nous ne fournissons aucun service par Facebook. Si quelqu'un vous contacte sur Facebook, prétendant être un représentant du prophète Tibi Joshua, de la synagogue église de toutes les nations ou d'Emmanuel TV, sachez que vous avez affaire à un fraudeur. Prenez garde aux fraudeurs. Cuidado con los estafadores. Hay numerosos usuarios que aseguran ser o representar al profeta Tibi Joshua, los hombres sabios o estar conectados con el ministerio de la sinagoga, iglesia de todas las naciones y Emmanuel TV. Hay miles de impostores que están contactando personas por medio de Facebook y de direcciones falsas de correo electrónico pidiendo donaciones y ofrendas a cambio de artículos espirituales. También están pidiendo donaciones para proyectos benéficos falsos. Son estafadores y no tienen nada que ver con la SCOAN, en Manuel TV o el profeta Tibi Joshua. Solo tenemos una página oficial de Facebook. www.facebook.com barra TBJ Ministries. Cualquier otra página o perfil que afirme estar asociado con el ministerio de Tibi Joshua o la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones es falsa. Para cualquier duda, diríjase a nuestra página web www.emmanuel.tv y haga clic en el icono de Facebook. No nos comunicamos a través de Facebook. No facilitamos artículos espirituales, ni hacemos reservas para la sinagoga, iglesia de todas las naciones. Tampoco proporcionamos ningún otro servicio por medio de Facebook. Si alguien le contacta por medio de Facebook, afirmando estar relacionado con el profeta Tibi Joshua, la Escoan o en Manuel TV, está usted tratando con un estafador. Cuidado con los estafadores. is a 
an enemy to fear. Many fear, fear of false accusation, fear of sickness, fear of disease, failure, just many. Fear, 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 fear. Fear within. You have a friend. The Holy Spirit. Who will conquer that fear for you. The opening of the eyes of our faith will be the silencing of our fear. Tell your neighbor. John 9 verse 39. Jesus said, For this twofold judgment, Jesus came to this world. That those be made blind. For this twofold judgment, Jesus came into this world. This explains why the young, rustic, and seemingly inexperienced, heartless, David could defeat Goliath in the battle. <laughs> this explains why the Moses, who the son of a Hebrew slave, could stand before King. Hello. <laughs> this explains why weak people like me without fastness and smoothness of tongue to ever remain graceful to God for the purpose. hard work God still need to mark it after you must have done everything you must leave the issue with God if we succeed we must give him glory and honor and if you fail we must submit to his will because that failure may be to preserve you that failure may be to prepare you for the challenges ahead. That failure may be to keep you for a new level. That failure may be to strengthen your desire for him. That failure may be, may be, may be. It is when you are between a rock and a hard place that you perceive the Lord presence in your life most clearly. To close our eyes to all things in this world, we shall open them in a world of glory. Emmanuel TV Partner. Log on to www.emmanuel.tv and click on Partnership. Click Become a Partner, scroll down the page and click the first option. Fill the accompanying form with all the required information and then click Submit. Join the Emmanuel TV Partnership now to reach out to a troubled world. Emmanuel TV. Changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. in prison countless Christian
silver relationship and widen the existing bridges between us. Many are victims of self imprisonment unless we release ourselves. God will not hear us. Because of wounds and hurt, which offenses have caused in our lives, most of us cannot function properly in our profession. To hold an offense against someone hinders and handicaps us from fulfilling our full potential. You are imprisoned by anger, imprisoned by hatred, imprisoned by bitterness, hurt, imprisoned of forgiveness. Whether you are right, As a Christian, our families and our homes which are meant to be a source of inspiration, of protection and provision and growth. Where we learn to give love and receive love. It's often the very root of our pain. Brother against brother, father against brother, son against father, and mother against son. The higher the expectation, the greater the fall. Right now, release yourself by forgiving those who have wronged you in one form or another. Promise you will do restitution. When you release yourself, healing will find you. Will find you, protection will find you. Holy Spirit, he so wisely and carefully assisted and directed in delivery of what they have given to prophets to give to people.
he so wisely and carefully assisted and directed them. He powerfully, eventually engaged them to write and speak what he had put into their mouths. The very word of scripture are to be accounted the word of the Holy Ghost so that all the plainness and simplicity all the power and virtues all the elegance can be confirmed there are things that just don't belong together. Good example of it is wolf and the lamb. There are things that just don't belong together. Light and darkness. There are things that just don't belong together. Lion and deer for a wolf to dwell with the lamb means there are reconciliation. Without the gospel of grace, wolf cannot dwell with lamb. A son would never call his father's murderer dear friend there are things that just don't belong together the gospel of god's grace challenges and changes everything John 4.36 Both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. Whether you plant or you water. situation once you don't trade your joy with your situation you overcome what do you need from God you need healing you need deliverance you need blessing salvation or oh, just mention whatever you need from God the Holy Spirit uses the Word of God to bring them healing Holy Spirit uses the Word of God to bring healing. Deliverance, Holy Spirit uses the Word of God to bring salvation. Just name, the Holy Spirit uses the Word of God to bring peace to your heart. The will of God on every matter must be known to you before prayer. The key to succeed in life if you are a child of God. Anytime there is difficulty, quickly remember 
the more trial and difficult time you faced in the past, this will impart strength to face the present difficulty you have had. So stop trading your joy with what? With situation. No matter what happens, hold your joy. It is by joy you can overcome your situation. These things are not brought to pass by anything done by us. Therefore, all those things is excluded. There is no room for any man's boasting of his own abilities and power. This explains with people like me who without fast legs, smoothness of tongue, ability to inspire people, who without Great strength. TV Joshua should ever remain graceful for the purpose he has designed me. When the word of God dominates your heart, you can go forth and go on in the discharge of your Christian duty. Think more about what you read, the more your heart acts upon the word. If your spirit has not acted upon the word, the word will remain on your lips. When we receive and obey the word of God, the power of God works in us. This means the word of God becomes the power of God. If you know God, you will simultaneously have faith. And how do we know God? We know God by the way He walks, the way He speaks. The way He speaks represents His heart desire. When the farmer gets his seed into the ground, he does not dig it up every day to see how it is doing. He believes it is okay. It is settled. We Christians must have faith in the God of nature. Meditation in God's way is a visit with God. This is where there is love. Love cannot exist with a relationship. with friends, our relationship with relations, our relationship with others must remain an integral part of God's original relationship. Even in the face of adversity, long suffering, Affliction, just name them. The 
us relationship originally come from God you have no power to quit unless God releases you the way we live a relationship is the same way